Fall reactions are on Patreon, or if you want, you can pull up your copy of My Adventures with Superman, Episode 8 of Season 1, Zero Day, Part 1, and press play on it when I press play when the timer reaches zero. Day. Really hope this doesn't end up being like zero year in Gotham. Ooh, okay, this this group. Uh Banshee, right? I liked them enough to uh see them again. And her too. Oh. That was that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> like establishing dominance, I suppose, but making the point that the collars are tough. <laughs> oh, I see you've, uh, accepted your role. So, essentially a Suicide Squad main force against Superman for the main villain. I can dig that. I'm not a big fan of, uh, villains not being a little bit more independent broadly, but I like the Suicide Squad enough that I'm here for it. Is Mixie fucking with him again? Okay. That's that's very good. Is this a bad guy though? Possible. Oh, you're you're hearing everything. That was what the whispers were. Your super hearing's finally gotten to the point of being just completely. Oh no! Just in time. What is his name? And hey, just a second here. Okay, okay. His flame bird logo looked kind of like an Eggman spaceship for a second there. All right, 242. And 321 go. Woohoo! <laughs> Is this going to inspire the Fortress of Solitude? Oh. <laughs> oh no. No no secrets will ever be kept. Superman doesn't need coffee like that to go this long. <laughs> what the this show, broadly, I think they make him a little too stupid. No, not a little, a lot too stupid. Uh, th this show broadly nails Clark Kent, but his attitude as Superman leaves something to be desired for me. That is, that is one way to do it. 
feels a little less down to earth, if I'm being honest with you, but maybe that's just me. I get, it's super sweet. I'm being bitchy, but... <laughs> no, it's not! Alternate universes, infinite possibilities. That's how... That's how multi parallel universes work. There's also a Superman out there who's a disc jockey. He has the powers, he just only does disc jockey stuff. Oh! I thought it was <laughs> Lois Lane for a fucking second there. You really do look more like Lois Lane than Lois Lane does in the broadest sense. And you look nothing like Vicky Vale! I've only seen her in a few comics, but isn't she basically always blonde? It's a little silly that this would that, that that kind of pettiness would still be ongoing. I don't think that they said anything about a flying rodent. Mm-hmm. I'm going to presume that Batman is operating in this world, because I can't imagine taking down the Falcones happening without him. I do hope... And I know it sounds like I've complained a lot about this show, it's still broadly in a very positive feelings towards this show realm. I broadly hope for a Batman spinoff, because the vibe, general vibe of this show is very similar, I've said before, to Batman Wayne Family Adventures on Webtoon. And I would so dig getting that kind. Maybe a little bit more towards normal Batman than that, like, like a little bit more of a balance, but that kind of story animated, I'd be so here for it. In fact, the, the general family dynamic of the Gotham capes might suit this, this general writing style a little better than they've got here. 519, 3, 2, 1, go. Hair bear. I wonder how they cal how they determine that. Honestly, like, <laughs> what do the judges just take samples of your work? Addendum. I would also adore if Batman is just as dark as usual, because it would be hilarious contrast against this Superman. Superman! How many cats and trees do I have to save? Lost you! I fixed the timer setup.
Okay, okay. I was really not sure what they were going with there for a second. It sounded more horrible than it was, uh... He's got something else to attend to real quick here. Invisible man, invisible man. I'm not sure of an invisible Superman villain. Oh, yeah, 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 they had the tech. Okay. Superman should want to save cats from trees. That's what makes him Superman. <laughs> she fucking wrote that down. I mean, it's a waste of time to interview people. You already know that he, he broadly has a good reputation if your basis for him being unchecked and overpowered is distrusting his goody-goody act, talking to the people he's done the goody-goody act to is a waste of time. You need to get some sleep, dude. I'm I'm kind of annoyed. Even after a few days that you can be this tired, you are Superman. Mentally exhausted, I'd accept from the from the listening thing, but needing coffee and all that, I don't. Superman! Oh, oh, yo, 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 yo! Possibly Lex Luthor. You and the general are my main subject, uh, suspects on this point. I, I kind of assume it's you because your name is Alex. Uh, but the general talks like Lex Luthor does. That, that general verbose nature. Um, well, you gonna tell the other half of that story, buddy? I mean, yeah, he already basically does that. <laughs> I really dug Amanda Waller giving this argument in Justice League. It was slightly better written and acted there overall, so it was easier to get on board with, but it's still a good point. How about you say you were here 
Like, you are, you are also a source on this particular incident. <sighs> Holding... <laughs> Holding people accountable very fairly does require that level of scrutiny for someone like Superman, so I can't disagree with Vicky Vale's thought process. Whoa, whoa! Oh, shit! Yeah, right? That was not the... Oh, shit. Oh, come on. That is the worst possible. I, I do hope. I assume this is this is leading up to him his conclusion that even Superman has to take a day off. It is overcast. I'll accept that. If that's part of his exhaustion, I'll accept it. Overall, this is the last couple episodes, the over- well, with the flame bird thing, it's been the whole show. Uh, the concern with social media has always been more of a Spider-Man thing. Not like a concern with it, but the public opinion of him. Dang it! We went through this in Nimona. <laughs> Come back fresh, man. It may be cold, but you... Okay, okay, okay. You've been checking everywhere. I'll do it. Yeah! <laughs> That's what's up. But they got the collars on. Is is that something you can just deal with easy? Like, are, are we not at the level of Suicide Squad collar nonsense or head implant nonsense we're going to get to? Ah! Who was that? Oh. Oh, they're, they're attacking. It, was this a trap? No, 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 no. No. Okay. I love a Legion of Doom situation. It's not quite that. What's the Superman equivalent naming for a Sinister Six? I don't, I don't, I'm not sure any of his groups have ever really had a name like that. Legion of Doom's obviously more of a broader DC Universe villains. 
I didn't think you'd still need the suit for your powers, do you? In fact, none of you. It seemed pretty obvious that, uh, your, your accidents were probably giving you the powers relevant. Yeah, it being so overcast has to be a big factor in things, I assume. The United States government! Wait, 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 you know not to do that! No! Or are you- do you have a plan? Because it seemed intentional. No, you don't have a plan. Alright, I'm gonna need you to smarten up, soups. Let's see, she's a better reporter than than this, I think. Okay. Okay. I, I want to see what the ugly truth is. Um... He just needs a little bit of sunlight. Oh, God! Superman's getting his ass kicked! No doomsday to be found! <laughs> Is he just tanking it? He like, fuck y'all! <laughs> oh my god, dude! He... Talk about a comeback! He rallied that shit <laughs> fucking up phenomenally! That was actually a great little sequence. Someone's getting you from behind any second now. Maybe not. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, Parasite's probably the biggest threat here to you, broadly. If he wasn't here, it probably wouldn't even be really a fight. Is the collar going to do anything to him? Yeah, he has Superman powers the more he does that, so I'd think that the collar wasn't going to do that much. Hitting him with that full metal alchemist nonsense, you like. <laughs> well, the good news is, it's not like Superman can really be unmasked. God forbid they stuck a pair of glasses on him. <laughs> I thought this was a great episode, broadly. I want to see what Vicky Vale actually wrote in that little article. That... 
I would have high hopes that at the very least it would be an it's complicated story. No, this was an absolutely fantastic episode. Best fight scene. I'm willing to say hands down best fight scene. I'm hoping one where Superman wins gets to top it coming up. I can dig it next time.